So it's prep day again today. Uh, we just got a delivery of raw meat. Um, this all comes frozen. Um, we've got some turkey necks. That right there is some deer meat. Uh, we've got duck hearts, um, kidney, rabbit liver. Um, so quite a lot of meat, organ and bone. Um, then I also have some tripe in, in, the, in the bathroom already thawing on the shower floor. And um, what else? Um, we've also got some wild rabbit meat still thawing uh, that we had left over from, from last time. Um, so I'll get it all to thaw and in about like, well, four to five hours or so I will start um, prepping the first items. So this is what it looks like on the floor of our shower. Um, the little tubs there at the corner are tripe, then in that corner we have rabbit, that will be duck hearts, these two are deer, um, all of this is turkey necks, that will be wild rabbit again, that little bag there as well, and then we have um, beef, kidney and rabbit liver here. Um, I won't be using all of that tripe, half of it will be refrozen into two of these larger tubs, but that would just be easier storage, and I can use these again to prep uh, the meals that I'm making today. Okay, so I'll let this thaw and we will prep it later. It's about four hours later now and I've um, already taken three of these tubs of tripe and put them in one of these tubs. And um, when the rabbits in that tub's completely uh, defrost, I will also um, take the rest of these three, put them in there and put them back in the freezer. Um, so I can use these tubs uh, tonight to portion the rest. Now I have five bags of turkey neck each weighing one kilogram. This is exactly one kilogram of turkey neck and you can see that these are quite large. I will have to cut each bag up into seven pieces to equal 35 days um, worth of turkey neck. Um, so I'll try to make similar sized pieces to um, have an equal amount of bone in each meal. So here we have seven pieces of turkey neck. That's um, one bag used up. I did mess up dividing it though because that piece is much smaller than that one so I'll have to um, uh, adjust that by feeding um, that one one day and that one the next just to um, average it out over over two days the bone content but that will be fine. Okay. All of the turkey neck has been cut up. These are now 35 pieces of turkey neck. That will be her bone in meat for the next five weeks. I will now start cutting up the organs, so that will be rabbit liver and beef kidney. So I've cut up all of the rabbit liver and I'm going to spread it out over um, the tubs. I've got the exact amount that I need for 5 weeks, so I'm not going to measure per tub because that takes way too much time and it only has to be balanced over time and not every day, um, so that's why I um, prefer to do it this way. I've added the rabbit liver to each meal. And I will now proceed to cut up the kidney. So here I've got the exact amount of kidney that I need for five weeks, which is 875 grams, again, just as much as the liver. And I will spread that out over these meals as well. So now all of the organ has been divided over the 35 meals. I've got approximately th uh, three kilograms of uh, beef tripe here. I will um, again just divide that over the 35 meals um, and then I will move on to the next ingredient. All of the beef tripe has now been added to these meals and I've got four kilograms of deer meat next. So the four kilograms of deer meat have been divided over all of these meals and I will now be adding one kilogram of dock heart. So for now, all that's left is to divide this 2,750 grams of rabbit over the 35 meals and I should be done for the next 5 weeks. So, that's today's meal prep done. 35 meals including turkey neck, duck liver, beef kidney, wild rabbit, tame rabbit as I presume that I was sent the wrong kind because it's much more pink than the other. Um, duck heart, beef tripe and wild deer. So that's everything, it's quite a varied meal. Um, it is approximately the same every day. Um, I'm just doing that because I want to um, 
be a little bit more careful with Mojo Sensitive Stomach. Um, if she's better next time, I can still um, vary proteins each day, but this time I just decided to do um, a simple meal that's the same for every single day. Um, I've got some um, supplements left, bone broth and uh, golden paste that I will spread out over all of these um, meals and then I will put on the lids and store them in the freezer. Golden paste and bone broth have been added so I'll now put on the lids and put the meals into the freezer. So now it's dinner time for Mojo. Every evening I will put one of these frozen tubs from the freezer into the fridge. Um, that will be uh, thawed by the next evening. Um, all I do is this. Spread it out a little bit. And that's one meal finished. Blijf. Wachten. Now I've got approximately one kilogram of rabbit meat left. I will cut it up into very small pieces and then dry it in the oven. Um, I've got a video on that and I will link that below. These will make great training treats that I will use over the next week and that I will save in the fridge to keep fresh. It's now the next morning. Um, yesterday I cut up the rabbit in very small pieces. I've got like three quarters of it left in a fridge in a, in a little tub but um, I um, put them in the oven um, on this baking tray for eight hours at 60 degrees celsius which is about 140 fahrenheit I believe um, to dehydrate them. I put them in this mason jar um, I will now put that in the fridge and use them throughout the next days as training treats. Rustig.